In speaking of cussing, this section about oxen and the temple sawmill wouldn't be complete without the colorful story from the book J. Golden Kimball, the story of a unique personality, which was originally published in 1934. In it, the author Claude Richards wrote about the Mormon general authority when he was a teamster. Joe Morris was the best man with oxen I ever saw. One time, when we were hauling some of those temple logs to the sawmill, he turned the whip over to me. There were six yoke. I had never tackled half so many. You can't learn younger. Go ahead, Joe said to me. So I took the whip and started in. The oxen, dumb as they were, knew a change had been made. Immediately they lagged, and some of them turned around to look at me. I fancied they were all laughing at my shrill voice. Joe stood by and laughed. He wouldn't help a bit. I spoke quite respectable for a time to those oxen. But what good did it do? Then I started to cuss. It was after the manifesto on swearing, too. But I was mad and had to turn loose. I never did it again. That was the last time. And boy, how I did cuss. Did I wax eloquent? I'm afraid I did. But did those oxen sit up and take notice? They sure did. Every one of them got down to business. You see, they were church oxen. And when you talked that language to them, they understood it. Jay Golden Kimball. <laughs>